is inspired by the ideas and spirit of the slow movement and has been happily adopted by Ben Burbs Bohemians, one of whom, Stephen Farnan, joins me now in the studio. Stephen, I just love the idea of Ben Burb Bohemians. And it is, you have this little, wonderful little enclave of, of craftspeople in Ben Burb. Yeah, it's been growing in Ben Burb for about six years now. And just this year, we've developed a connection with the mill through our Eco Trail down at uh, Ben Burb Valley Park. Uh, there are several of us. There are a couple of potters, there's a basket weaver, painters, bronze casters, furniture meter sculptors. Uh, there's a web designer and recently with uh, the new addition of Prairie House Restaurant and Bistro. So there's quite a few things happening and we all tend to lean on each other. Do you know, it's quite a buzz anytime you go down there. Do you know, you're not working on your own. You're in there in other people's studios and you're having the crack. There's probably... A little bit too little work going on. You know what I mean? Uh, See, I didn't know there were Bohemians in Ben Burb. So, so why did you all find yourselves there? Uh, well, there are levels of Bohemian. Uh, <laughs> there are some who are on the higher echelons. Uh, Johnny Hamill, for example, he is an extreme Bohemian, and he's our uh, bronze caster and furniture maker. And then there are people like myself who are in the middle of that. You know, we, we certainly like the lifestyle that's offered down in Ben Burb and it's a slower pace of life and it's, uh, you know, you can go out your back door and there's beautiful views and, it, you know, it's quite chilled out. And then there are the guys on the very right in a way, you know, the web designers and the advertisers who are there. It's a purely business thing for them, you know, but it's a, a, at the same time they can pop out at lunchtime and have a bite to eat or just a walk through the park. But what I find really interesting is the premises in which you yeah. are based. You say prairie, and very often the word prairie is just there was a prairie there once, but you actually are part of a working prairie with, with monks, is it? It's not monks, no, it's priests. Right, Yeah, okay. they're part of the Servite Order of Mary. And what happened was I went out about six years ago and met one of the priests and they had these wonderful old art buildings that were part of this Victorian greenhouse. Now the Priory itself, you know, the number of priests there are, you know, it's going down and they're all of a pensionable age there at the minute. So Raymond was quite happy to jump on board and the two of us were up taking a roof apart. So they like the Bohemians oh, there? Oh, absolutely. You know, and they're, they're absolutely amazing, you know, and they put the money in and developing and uh, reconstructing the old art buildings. And if they weren't there, it wouldn't be happening. It would not be happening. I also wonder, something like the August Craft Month yeah. shines a spotlight on Ben Burb. The applied arts in general, I think, are rather forgotten about when people talk about the arts. They talk about painting and music and literature as we yes. were doing. The applied arts, less so. So is something like that very beneficial for you? Absolutely. And things, I would say, things have been changing with the introduction of Craft NI. And particularly this programme of August Craft Month, where not only are they focused in the minds of uh, customers and people who want to go and see events and uh, visit workshops and... Uh, but they're focused in the mind of the maker as well and making them realise how important it is to invite customers and uh, people who just maybe want to see what you're doing, inviting them into your studio. Now, tell me what's going to be happening in the events because you've got your big launch on August 6th, but I think we're all welcome all month, aren't oh, we? Oh, you're welcome all month. And do you <laughs> take plastic, by the way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> plastic, cash, whatever Anything you have, at all. potatoes. <laughs> um, we, uh, on the Friday night, we're ha the 6th of August, we're having our big launch and as part of that, Francois Champy and Sean, my brother, they're the chefs at the restaurant, they're going to be serving locally produced food and but they're going to be serving them on locally produced tableware. Tableware that's made by myself and Susie, the knives and forks are made by Johnny, uh, wow. the baskets are made by Alison. Uh, but at the same time as that going on, we have the launch of our exhibition. Our new painter, Geraldine McQueen, will be exhibiting and uh, Sean Barden will be showing some photographs of Maker's Hands in Action. Uh, we're also going to be doing a live uh, demonstration. I'm not sure how well it's going to go. Myself and Susie and Johnny are going to try and make a, a tableware set. Uh, Is this the slow, the slow motion sculptor? Yeah. No, well, that's that's another thing that's right. happening through the month. Uh, sculptor Darren Sutton will be uh, making one of his maquettes over the course of the month. But uh, Darren says it's a much slower process, everything that Darren's involved in. this That event on the Friday night, it's going to be quite fast. <laughs> probably messy, but uh, we'll go with it anyway. It, it sounds fantastic. And as you said, Ben Burb, it's a wonderful place to work. You feel very inspired there, and it does fit in very well with the whole slow idea. Yeah. 
it's also a very good reason to go to Benburb because when you sat down, you said nobody ever goes to Benburb because it's not on the way to anything. That's true. Yeah, this it's not. You don't have to go to Benburb if you're going somewhere. Uh, you have to choose to go there, and that's what we find people are doing. You know, they're coming and they're making a day of it. They're having the coffee in the in the coffee shop, and then they're going for a walk through the park, and they're maybe popping into the gallery or some of the studios. Uh, the Priory itself also run loads of residential courses, whether you might be a Buddhist monk and you go there to do a silent retreat for a couple of weeks. Uh, but it's one of those places people are making a couple of hours out of their journey there, and we just want more people like that. Who'd ever have thought it in Ben Burp, all those bohemians, and you're an excellent <laughs> spokesman for it, Stephen Farnan. Thank you so much. I actually am going to go, I think, next Great. Friday night Thank after the well. show. So keep me something nice to eat off your lovely tableware. For more information, you can visit the website for all of those craft events, craftni.org.